Hey, I'm back. After a potty break. Okay. What was I talking about? Oh, right. Right, 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 right. Okay. So, I guess we can talk about a story. But to finish the other story, I work at a restaurant. My, my, the boss of the restaurant is my father's best friend. He got, he got him the job. But my dad didn't get a job, which I thank him for my life. And to repay him for giving my dad a job, I work at the restaurant, and I do whatever he needs me to do every single day, and I work my ass off. But you're probably all wondering, why the fuck did you choose culinary? You could have chose HVAC, you could have chose Cosby, you could have chose anything. You could even chose to make video games. Why did you choose culinary? Let me explain to you all while I'm walking around and talking to people, uh, or do whatever. As a teenager, um, going to high school, I was actually excited. It was a fresh new start. I, I was, I was a depressed asshole. Okay, I was the depressed asshole. I might have said this story once or twice, but just to get people who don't know this, uh, I, I had self-loathing issues. I self-loathed myself almost every day to the point where it was unhealthy, to the point where I would just get immediately pissed off at the most stupidest little things, like my father. And people have no idea why the hell it was going on. Like, dude, like, why are you so mad? They, they wouldn't know. Because they had no idea why I was upset. So, uh, I had a lot of slip lulling problems. I had anxiety issues. My anxiety was so bad to the point where I was seeing things. I was seeing after images. I, ha I would get migraines. I would get feverish headaches. That's how bad my anxiety was. My anxiety was making me sick. It was that unhealthy. When I went to high school, high school was probably the wake-up call I absolutely needed in my life. And finally, um, I was going through the shops, and I'm like, oh, I don't want to do this, I want to do that. Culinary was the one that really caught my eye. And I saw these, like, people, like, they were, like, being so nice to me and all that, I... They, they were hard on me when they needed to, and I get that from the start. I needed somebody to push me. To push me to be my absolute best, and Colony was the one. And honestly, I felt that, because when I wanted to go to the shop I wanted, which was internet, I had my very first stomach bug. And I only had, like, what, like two days. And when I was, like, a movie thing, when I watched a movie, and then I just watched, like, trailers on YouTube because I could actually get away with it. I'm not joking. So by the time I was done, I didn't chose the internet, I chose culinary. For multiple reasons. One, I I needed something to prove my father that I wasn't doing any more video games than I already was doing. Number two, um, I need to learn how to work with people because my serious problem, and I knew it was going to be a problem with me and my father, my father wanted me to get along with others. So I needed a shop where I could, oh, I was constantly working with others to get out of my comfort zone to learn how to work with people, even with my bad uh, emotional issues. And three, I felt guilty. I have a guilt trip. Basically where all these nice people and I told them, like, maybe I can join, I felt bad. Seeing these people that were taking their time to teach me how to do something, and I was actually good at it, so I was thinking, why don't I just kill with one bone? This is actually pretty good, and my father won't actually, you know... So, I chose culinary, and I didn't tell anyone. I chose it. I walk home. I told Dad, my father, hey, Dad, I chose culinary. His reaction is something I will never, ever forget. Oh, thank God! I'm like what? He's like, oh my God, you don't have to stare at a screen for another eight hours. He's like, good, you're actually doing something with your hands. You're actually standing. You're actually doing hard work, because that's what my father wanted me to do. He wanted me to do hard work, because he, as a 15-year-old back in like the 70s or 80s, he had to do hard work. He had to work his ass off. So he wanted his sons to have the same mentality, the same work mentality. And he, my father, nowadays, he knows I bust my ass off. But yes, I could be better at chores. I could be better at my house schedule. Which I will. Eventually, when I leave, I'll actually be a lot better. Because I'll be a lot more organized. Hopefully. 
hopefully I'll be a lot more organized. Who fucking knows? I'm still bad at all this shit, but I'm slowly getting used to it. I still haven't got my license. I, I need to work on that. I need, I need to seriously work on that. But that's not the point. Point being is, yes, I went to the culinary shop, and I do not regret any single moment that I did. I was so good at it. I met a lot of kids that I still almost talk to this day. I hope they're watching this video. So if, if, if you guys are watching, you know, the kids that I worked with back in Shawshank, uh, when they were like sophomores or just seen, uh, freshmen, now you know why they chose the shop. If, if, if they are watching this, they probably aren't watching this random video. Maybe if they are. I hope those kids are doing well. Uh, COVID's really affected them. I was like, ah, oh, shit. Shit, they probably hate their lives right now. So, I will do a game that they wanted, a lot of them wanted me to do for a while. I'll get that up soon. There was one game they wanted me to play, and I wonder if you guys want me to do it too. I'm going to say it right now, because I've just been really hesitant on playing it. This is a random game called Goat Simulator. And it's well known to the public, and I wanted to do a Let's Play on it for a little while while now. But it's way too late. It's like, dude, it's like fucking 2020. No one plays Goat Simulator now. So I was thinking, oh, fuck. Now I gotta catch up with um, a lot of times. There's a lot of games I have to catch up with now. Because, you know, it's 2020, and a lot of people aren't gonna watch it. But, honestly, you guys have been more excited. You're like, dude, someone's playing older games in fucking 2020. Thank you. And... Uh, when I was looking last night, uh, you know, I'll just go to the Ample Sisters when I talk about this. When me and Toast, because Toast is also part of the channel. When we were lurking, were looking on his phone last night, he was. I was watching shit before going to bed. He noticed that some of you guys have been actually downloading my videos into other sites. Now, I'm not going to be mad or be upset about it. I actually was surprised. My videos are somehow so good... That someone takes them into other sites to put them onto other sites for their own benefit. I mean, yeah, I'll, what the fuck? You could have asked me for permission. Like, hey, dude, can I download your videos on this site to fucking put you over? I'm like, hell yeah, dude, do that. You, you could have fucking told me. You could have told me. But I'm glad. Thank you. It's kind of a little bit of a surprise, but thank you. Uh, and there's a lot of, like, uh, comments that didn't make it into the bell uh, that are on my, on, on my brother's phone. Just my brother has the app for the comment sections. There's a lot of um, comments that didn't make it to the bell. And my brother was thinking of doing a Q&A where eventually we would go through the comments and we would answer your questions or try to answer as many questions as we possibly can. I, we're, I'm not good at the question thing. Okay. I know this. I'm not really good at it. But I'll try just for you. But what? What? Oh, that's pretty good. Oh, fuck. I want to go back in. Let me out. Thank you. Give me a minute. I guess I can wear this. No, not the flower sandals, no. Yes. Cool shit. Awesome. That's all I wanted. Now my character looks like a fucking girl. Even though it's a boy.
That's okay. There's a lot of like demographics who watch my videos. I got some I got some crunchers up in Germany. We got some crunchers up in fucking Canada. Uh Britain. Good old uh UK. Got some people uh up there. Uh, thank you guys. I don't know I was funny in fucking the other side of the world. Who fucking knew? Alright. Um isn't this the same bin? Oh, let me just, uh... Where do I put you? I know where to put it. Since my brother did make so much trash. Makes so much trash, guys. <laughs> Alright. See, now he has two places to put his trash in. He makes more of a mess than I do. Trust me. He does. I know. I see it right in front of me. Oh, nice. 58,000 bells. That's really good. It's a really good run of money that I have right now. That's awesome. That's a very good for me. Gonna put my superhero mask in the storage. Before we end the video, why don't we just check our thing? <whistles> sure is expansive. I'll never, I'll never lose any stuff to be fashionable. Next time on Animal Crossing, we're going to be going to the islands. Or hopefully so. I'll change my outfit too, I'll get some more money, and we'll start the flower project. The opposite of the getting rid of the flowers project, because, hmm, I'm really dumb. I'm, uh, I don't think things through. Alright, I'll see you guys then. Peace, boys.